yo what's up what's up and this is here and uh, I'm sorry but this at the moment is not a summoner's war video I'm uh, right here I'm playing uh, the uh, Ragnarok returns uh, this is uh, the Philippine Ragnarok online and uh, that's uh, that's actually the reason why I was on hiatus for uh, seven days in total all right uh, I, I wanted to check it out and uh, the Philippine Ragnarok online uh, Ragnarok returns uh, hashtag that's going on around is uh, uh, it, it began their open beta test uh, probably a few weeks ago probably uh, six six weeks ago if I'm not mistaken and uh, I was kind of hesitant but I'm really quite excited that uh, this game has returned however uh, the good thing and the good news is uh, it's under new management and uh, it's not uh, with level up. Um, nothing wrong with that. And I'm, I was I was actually quite hopeful because uh, on their uh, OBT and their uh, advertisements uh, they they uh, told players that uh, every Filipino or all over the world can play and. Uh, Additionally, there would be no bots because, uh, as we all know, bots uh, crash the uh, economy of the Philippine Ragnarok online servers before. I know that for a fact, right? And uh, on the downside, uh, the current admin of the, this uh, server allowed uh, multi client plugins. Uh, in my opinion, that's not pretty productive or that's counterproductive in their sense now uh, in essence I was uh, pumped up to play and uh, and what happened was I'd like to call it something like uh, in, in a marketing perspective I'm a marketing I'm a marketing consultant and in my perspective I'd like to call it something like nostalgia marketing because what happened is uh, prior to the OBT uh, I know a few people abroad, I have a few friends and I know some other people from other groups uh, in social media who actually purchased uh, OBT, uh, OBT points, uh, premiums, whatever. Uh, so bottom line is uh, they purchased in-game items and uh, they purchased in-game rock points and you can uh, use your rock points to purchase stuff right here. Yeah. So uh, these are... Uh, these people or these Filipino uh, players abroad purchased or they, they made purchase to support the game because hey it's nostalgia marketing uh, 90s kids who played uh, this game uh, during uh, during their uh, peak uh, beginning in 2003 myself included are uh, quite hyped to be playing it all over again and it's just nostalgia when I first clicked on and uh, made my first captain made my first character or this is actually my only character so that's that so what happened was nostalgia marketing they raked in they raked in the dough all right now and everybody's excited and all that and uh, moving forward there we go OBT proceeded and it's all well and good however there came a point where there's too much lag and of course uh, they uh, try to address that problem, they try to identify the cause of that problem and uh, they came to a conclusion that it's uh, of course server overload. There's just too many uh, clients who are connected to the server and uh, that's where, uh, that proves my point uh, with what I've said with the multi-client plugin being available, it's counterproductive. I mean, uh, you allow multi multi client login, and what do you expect? No lag, and uh, they give you peanuts? Jesus. Alright, but, alright. There was that problem. Uh, that problem was somewhere around like uh, a week ago, and there, were, uh, there was an emergency maintenance uh, to resolve the problem, and the genius admins made up a solution. And they only allowed client plugins coming from uh, 
a few Southeast Asian countries. I, I can't re recall which uh, countries uh, in particular, but that's just a four, four or five countries. The Philippines included. I get. I think, if I recall correctly, Thailand and Taiwan is also included. Yeah. However, that causes a problem. That causes a problem because there are players. I have a friend in Australia, and he, he can't play the game. He, 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 uh, the game wouldn't allow him to to connect. And uh, I have a friend in the uh, in the Middle East, and he. Uh, he had that same problem and uh, a larger problem is this um, if you're not familiar with the Philippine economy a large portion of uh, Filipinos are working outside the country and uh, a large chunk of the uh, Filipino workers are currently in uh, Middle Eastern countries European countries and those countries aren't allowed to connect to the game and, and that's a problem because those people have the higher purchasing power to purchase rock points or those uh, premium in-game items and it's quite genius of them to actually block them out just to just to accommodate uh, to reduce server lag and uh, that's quite brilliant don't you think they really are geniuses of course all right and uh, m moving forward and because of that uh, I I've seen some people wanting uh, refunds because uh, they made purchase and however they aren't going to be able to play so uh, that's that's uh, some people call it uh, a highway a highway hold up or something or a highway heist now when uh, when that problem escalated a few days ago, or uh, some people were making complaints, they actually made another genius uh, solution. They suggested no, not just suggested, but they rather ad advertised the solution. They uh, suggested the use of VPNs, so of virtual private networks, and they actually advertised uh, a VPN that's called what. What the fast? Now I, I have nothing against uh, what the fast because uh, they're, uh, they're they're just another uh, business. However, my problem is the admins or the administrators of this current server uh, advertising that, and it, that move is uh, quite questionable because uh, are they part or are they uh, do they have an, an agreement with the uh, management of uh, what the past and here here's the uh, bonus or the cherry on top of that what the past has a premium service we're in so in order for you to get the best gaming experience using your VPN you gotta pay and with that that uh, that's something that called double jeopardy double jeopardy you gotta pay for something uh, in <laughs> What, here's what I mean. There are people in uh, European countries and uh, in, in uh, the Middle Eastern countries who already purchase in-game items. And in order for them to be able to play and uh, enjoy the in-game items that they purchase, they have to pay again a virtual private ne network pro service provider just because the geniuses at the uh, of the current admins block Logins from those said countries. It's just, it's like, I, I don't know, man. Uh, what's it look like to you? It, it looks like they're they're uh, making a cash cow out of nostalgia marketing for this game. All right. And uh, another thing with regards to uh, to the bots. They had been saying there's no not going to be any bots right here. Um, I actually I have a suspicion I have a few suspicions and I've, I've seen a few characters in game last night as I was grinding uh, to get uh, skill ups uh, skill points and jump points there are a few players right in this exact dungeon who are moving uh, bot line 
I know how a bot moves because I'm one of the. I, I used to bot myself on the previous service providers. I, I know how a bot moves. I'm not proud of it. <clears throat> I'm not proud of it though. But uh, I've seen uh, I've seen a few characters who are moving just like bots. So what happened to their uh, their promise right at their right there at the beginning? That there ain't uh, there are. There are people all over the world who wants to play, would be able to play. Every Filipino anywhere around the world would be able to play this game. However, they breach on that promise already. There would be no bots. I have reason to believe they have already breached that as well. And uh, to be honest, the best solution to their current problem of server lag is just to make it Make it a point that nobody would make or would be allowed to have multiple logins. I mean, if you want to have multiple logins, have multiple computers uh, running one client each. Because, I mean, this is an MMORPG, a massively multi multiplayer online role playing game. What kind of role playing game would you be playing if you'd be playing? Two characters or more at once. That's like playing StarCraft or Warcraft. That's not an MMO, that's not an MMORPG. That's you're like playing StarCraft or Warcraft. And that's just that's just bull, in my opinion. Alright. And uh, with that said, with that said, the question now is this: what kind of genius-like solution? Are they going to make for the current uh, situation they are in? Now, considering the previous uh, solutions that they've uh, did for prior problems, I'll be damned. I do not want to find out. And with that, <laughs> antithesis out. What's that?